I like to tell a story in each of my work, but also I like to mix reality and dreams, life and death. I speak about other issues like my cinema inspiration, like exile, existence, and sexuality. All my work are hand-colored black and white photographs, which I learned from the last retouchers in Cairo and Alexandria. I'm using the oldest technique of painting photography. I use watercolor, I use pencils and oil. I've been doing it since I started my work in 1992. I started doing self-portraits when I left Egypt in 2003. Um, at that time, I found myself in a new place. I was first in Paris before going to New York. And I started asking myself questions about um, existence, about life, about what I'm doing here, um, the fact that I'm in a new place. In Egypt, I was very much inspired by cinema, and actors, writers, uh, friends of mine. And then when I came to Paris, I wanted to talk about how I felt when I left Egypt. The idea that I always felt like um, I'm going to leave one day. And I wanted to talk about it in my self-portraits, the idea that I'm always feeling like a visitor everywhere I go. The same relation I have about my whole life. I know that I'm here for some time and then we're all going to go. In the 80s in Egypt, um, women started covering their hair. And I always wondered why this suddenly happened. Lots of debates were on TV and everywhere, like who's covering more, who's better, who's Christian, who's Muslim, who's, you know, it was a separation between um, religions and between um, uh, women and men and who actually going to hell, who's going to heaven and things like that. And I, I never really um, agreed with most of that, you know. If you go to villages, you see Christians and Muslims, they also always wear the black, traditional, transparent veil. And the same one that you see in most of the Mediterranean countries without being a sign of separation in society. So I decided to photograph actors and icons that I like, I love, wearing the kind of veil that I actually also love. In my mind, the title came to me first. I was like, who's gonna save that woman? Who's gonna save that belly dancer? And because they don't really represent any percentage in the country. So um, I wanted to call it, I Save My Belly Dancer. And it's more about the idea that I have of the belly dancer and the memory I have of it. Uh, watching it on TV, watching it at every wedding, uh, being respected in the country, uh, big belly dancers that actually everyone admires and why suddenly we're seeing this as something bad, as something against the morals and society. So yeah, it's more about saving in your memory what you can save um, when you decide that you want it to live with you wherever you go. The most recent work is from 2019, their abstract landscape that represent um, how I connected to each of them visually. They are related to the subjects of my self-portraits in terms of the message behind. They talk about uh, my observation and interrogation of life and existence. Mm -hmm.